Welcome back. The race to create a coronavirus vaccine is picking up. 17 possible vaccines are in clinical evaluation with one already in wide scale human trials. ABC's Eva Pilgrim has the details. This morning, the race to find a coronavirus vaccine intensifying. I'm cautiously optimistic that we will have one or maybe more candidates of vaccines that could be available and be effective by the end of the year, the beginning of 2021. The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, now saying he would settle for a COVID-19 vaccine that's 70 to 75 percent effective. But that level of protection, coupled with the fact that more than one in four Americans say they are unlikely to get a vaccine, according to a recent ABC News Washington Post poll, raising concern for Dr. Fauci, who fears that those current numbers could make it unlikely that the U.S. will reach a level of immunity to stifle the outbreak. But finding a vaccine remains the surest path out of the pandemic. The World Health Organization's latest report shows 17 potential vaccines in human trials, 132 in in preclinical phases. Here in the U.S., biotech company Moderna is set to begin phase three human trials in July with 30,000 volunteers. 65-year-old Norman Hume was one of Moderna's early participants and part of that critical age group hit so hard by COVID-19. This is cutting edge science and um, I'm just one small person and if I can do my little piece for this, um, you will hopefully find a way out of the pandemic. Now, other drug makers pushing forward to be part of the president's Operation Warp Speed for a vaccine. Johnson & Johnson, the largest healthcare company in the world, aiming to start human trials in July. If this vaccine is safe and effective, then the goal is to have it ready for distribution as quickly as possible. While the progress so far looks promising, success isn't a guarantee and a lot is on the line. Experts warn finding a vaccine won't be the only challenge going forward. The biggest challenge is just the sheer number of vaccines that will be needed. And we still need to know a lot about exactly what type of immune response is needed and how such a vaccine will work in people all over the world. 